hello how are you friends so uh, today uh, i'm going to talk with you about uh, uh, domain transfership like uh, now uh, think uh, now if you if you're going to sell uh, one of your domain to another guy then uh, and the second guy have a good account then uh, uh you can uh, trans domain in in between two godaddy accounts so in this video i'm going to show you how to transfer a domain uh, in between two godaddy accounts so here uh, i have uh, one uh, godaddy account here uh, open in my uh, chrome browser and uh, i have another godaddy account here open in my opera browser so uh, i have a domain uh, on this account and I'm going to transfer that domain to this account okay so uh, so here I have logged to my uh, Godaddy account and uh, and then I'm in my account section we go to my account and then you see this page and then uh, you need to go to your domain so I'm gonna click launch okay so uh, uh, this is the domain that I'm going to transfer to the second GoDaddy account so you need to click you need to select the domain and then uh, you will see uh, uh, these buttons are activating and then uh, you need to go to more and uh, begin account change all right so you can see there's three steps okay so we need to go over all the steps so here first you need to know the second GoDaddy account's email address okay so this account email address is uh, this one and I'm going to add this again you need to re-end address and then I have recipient custom account username yes I have it <coughs> and uh, so this is the username of the second GoDaddy account and uh, now this is important domain contact information you can enter new details or use details from specified customer account do not change okay so actually uh, now if you want to enter new uh, contact details then you can uh, select this option and uh, if you want to use details from specified customer account means uh, the GoDaddy account uh, which use this email address and uh, you can specify use details from that account or you can select do not change okay I am going to select the second option I want to use the details from the second account and uh, here the name servers and if you want to keep the name servers current name servers then uh, you can uh, put a tick mark on this actually on my case yes I'm going to use this name so because uh, this domain is hosted on uh, Bluehost server and uh, I don't want to change the hosting so I'm going to keep current name servers next and another thing and uh, did you notice that uh, here uh, if I use this first option then uh, there's a three uh, steps on the second step we will have to use we will have to enter the contact information but on my case I'm selecting second option so there's no second step Okay, and uh, that's it. Uh, and it's saying this product will be terminated. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So it says okay, fine. And you need to understand that is uh, agree to these statements okay and finish okay and finish yeah 
change account or your request has been submitted changes may take few moments to take effect okay so uh, let me check my email all right so here's uh, this uh, email from godaddy change of registrant initiated okay that's good and uh, there's nothing to do on this email it's just a status message and i'm gonna check my opera here we go and action required changes of registrant pending okay saying um changes account okay so you need to log into account and accept the change okay login to asset all right so uh, here then uh, i should go to pending account changes yeah you see and there it show under incoming account changes and uh, so you need to tick on here and accept uh actually uh this button is not working let me check uh, okay let's go to accept email changes Okay, so uh, let me try again. So select the domain and then uh, accept button should work. I don't know why it's not uh, active on the moment, but. Um, I think uh, maybe it's uh, something about browser. Let me uh, let me log in with my uh, with Firefox browser and come back to you. All right, here we go. So uh, I'm in Firefox and I already logged into my account. Uh, let me go to my account. Uh, then uh, launch for the domains and then uh, under domains pending account changes and uh, select the domain and click accept yes yes that's right so the error was with the browser earlier i was using opera browser and opera had some problems with godaddy as it seems so in firefox it's fine okay so uh i have read and uh, you need to select this and select this and uh, select this and press ok your request has been submitted. Changes may take in 15 minutes to take effects. All right, so that's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna check all domains. Okay, but uh, yeah, it's uh, here and it's saying changing account. And if I go back to my previous account, I'm gonna refresh and uh, if i go to domains and that the domain was gone from here so actually it's pretty much now uh, yeah you see the domain is active and uh, let's check 
for any emails but no okay so uh, that's how you uh, trans uh, uh, that's how you change uh, change account of a domain from one GoDaddy account to another GoDaddy account okay thank you very much hope you enjoy this video see you later